Hi, welcome to Glow's Kinder Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well today I'm busy in the kitchen making a pork roast for dinner and I had a butternut squash that I had that I need to use up so I thought I would do some roasted butternut squash to go along with it. So I thought we would just go through some steps and uh, you know the seasonings I selected are, are to go with the pork roast as well. So anyway let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do before you um, cut into this is I usually cut off the bottom. And then I'm going to cut off the top. And that way I have something straight to work with when I'm cutting. But it's too tall to, you know, to cut through all the way for what I want to do. So I'm going to go like this. And see, that's where my seeds are. So I'm going to cut this right down in half. And what I use is a grapefruit spoon to take these seeds out. Let me just scrape them out. So I'm going to continue to scrape these seeds out and I'll be back in just a little bit to show you the next step. Hi, well I got my butternut squash all cut up. I peeled it and I cut it up in about that size of a piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some olive oil and just put like two or three swirls around. That's probably about two tablespoons at the very most. And then I have some herbs here. Some of them I used in my pork roast. There's additional but this will really complement the pork roast. So one of the things I'm going to put in is a little paprika, the sweet paprika. You could use the smoked paprika. Um, that would be very good too. Smoked paprika is a little spicier. This is not spicy at all. Marjoram, which I put in my um, pork roast. A little bit of thyme. Rub it around in my hand. So it starts to bloom. How much was that, Mr. Glow? Oh, that's a good question. Probably... And the marjoram, too. Um, well, it was probably, at the most, an eighth of a teaspoon of the marjoram and maybe um, a quarter of the um, thyme. And then this is probably an eighth to a quarter of the sage. And you guys, you know, use the amount of spice that you want. If you, you know, have any questions, by all means, comment, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Here's some cumin. That gives it a nice earthy flavor. That's about six shakes, so maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. The garlic powder, and that's in the um, pork roast as well. How much of that? Oh, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon, just a few <clears throat> sprinkles. And the same with the nutmeg, just a few sprinkles. And then I'm going to add some cinnamon to it also. About the same amount of cinnamon. Maybe Eight, eighth of a teaspoon? Yeah. And some salt. Maybe an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon. And then pepper. About the same amount of that as well. And then you just want to stir this up. Oh, it smells really good. Roasted butternut squash is so good in the oven, and it pairs really well with um, roasts and chicken, whatever you're doing. It also goes good on salads at times. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. I just lined this uh, baking sheet with some oil, easier cleanup. And I'm just going to spread it out. And this pan I use strictly for roasting veggies and stuff. A well used pan. And I just spread it out evenly. And I'm going to roast this at 425 degrees and it'll probably take about, oh, I would say a, a good half hour, maybe a little less. But anyway, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Well, I just took the butternut squash out of the oven. I roasted it at 425 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Actually, it was 23 minutes. 
So um, anyway, I'm gonna have to let this cool a little bit before we try it, but I can tell you it sure smells good. Yes, it does, Miss Chloe. We'll be back. Well, our butternut squash has cooled off enough for me to try it. I mean, get a clue to it. Oh, it smells so good. It is good. I already tried one. <laughs> oh. This is delicious. Just enough of the herbs to go and complement that pork roast that's cooking. Right, and then when you roast these vegetables, they turn out to be sweet. So you don't need to put any sugar on it. It's just, it caramelizes and it is so good, you guys. It is sweet, that's for sure. It's very good. And there's no sugar in it. Yeah. Oh, I wish you were here to sample this and to have dinner with us tonight. Can't wait to have dinner. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you did enjoy this, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And give me a comment. Bye.